Hey, how's it going? This is the Argonaut, and we are here again in the Emperor's Campaign, Episode 11, where we are defending against the Phoenician Wanderers, the Scions of Sidon, the Scions of Tyros, and the Lions of Tanit. Tanit, whatever. Um, alright, so, we <laughs> are a little bit outnumbered, but we'll see what we can do. So let's go ahead and we'll fight this on the battle map. Here we have the fleet of Epirus, the pride of its navy, facing off against insurmountable odds. Unfortunately, that is the case. Well, what I'm planning to do here is uh, push in, take out as many ships as we can, and then in the meantime, I don't know why these guys are all the way over here, <laughs> but I am bringing in my reinforcements. So I'm hoping to get the Lithobolos um, into the courtyard in time to uh, smash up some of their ships as they come in to attack. So, we're gonna get get some epic naval engagement across the line, ships charging in, getting sort of charges. Alright, it's gonna be kinda hard to tell what's going on because they all look the same. There we are. Oh, there we go, there's a smashed ship. Another one, two. So, this naval engagement actually goes Pretty, pretty decently for us. Boom! Sinks them down. Yes! Drown, you fools! Drown! Alright. So yes, uh, we're actually winning quite handily here. That's going very well. Unfortunately, they are being reinforced by two other navies. So that is what it is. Doing what we can with all this freaking ship traffic. Oh, there goes the general ship. The admiral, I should say. Sinking to the bottom of the seas. Alright, how are we doing over here? We have, uh, I, I'm definitely not paying attention to <laughs> this little cavalry squadron uh, coming in to mess with us. Um, slowly we're being able to bring in more units because we're over, we're over 40 with all of the um, ships we had on the battlefield and the garrison and everything like that. So I couldn't bring in everything at once. But... We're, ooh, we're having some some intership combat here as the Greek Marines take on the Carthaginian Marines. Come on, buddy. Pull through. You can do it. No. Ooh, the floating Falcatas. Wait, no, I guess it landed right there. And the Carthaginians reinforcing. Again, the Epirote Navy doing what we can. Boom. Oh, beautiful. But it doesn't look like it's going to be enough this day. As you're starting to be overwhelmed. Crazy, ridiculous ship combat. <laughs> this is by far the largest navy battle I've been a part of. Ooh, there you go, General Ship. He's gonna break, but he took down a few. Boom! Without even touching him. <laughs> just explodes it. Some mines detonated inside the ship that they uh, sneakily placed there before. Oh, these guys just rout. Lame. Alright, so I'm gonna fast forward here as uh, the inevitable demise of our navy occurs before our eyes. Demise before our eyes. We got two ships left. Trying to get a ram in. Doesn't work. And it breaks. And there we have it. Alright. So, over this way, the general actually decided to move in. And he's going to charge. He tried to change charge targets to our cavalry, but gets caught by our hoplites. And we flank in through the market square with our Greek cavalry. And they'll make short work of him. Actually, they don't make short work, it takes a while to kill him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert, he dies. <laughs> Alright, so we have slowly poured in. We have the <laughs> Lithobolos making its way as quickly as possible. These guys are, oh my god. Can you imagine how strong they are? Alright. Breaking them there. And slowly they are going to be coming in to start docking. So, they do that weird thing where they sort of come like 
three at a time. I don't really know why. It doesn't make sense. Uh, but it is what it is. I think what I am going to show is uh, the Lithobolos, spoiler alert, doing its thing. Uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's just fun to watch it throw giant stones and shink, sink Carthaginian ships. Shink their ships down to the bottom of the sea. Hey, you stand no chance against the Epirot Navy. Ah, uh, wait, you're telling me you sunk the whole navy? Oi, ah, uh, that's unfortunate. We'll see what we can do, though, with our land troops. Are you damn slingers, throwing your rocks and metal bits at me, hmm? Well, the Greek militia will show you what's up. The fast, these going to be dogs. Ooh, we got our, uh, our cavalry moving in. Get a little good, good, uh, cav engagement here. Attacking the marine toxitai. Right? Garthian Geneva marine ar archers, yeah. Toxotai, there we go. I know some things. Okay. Um, are, we in, are we in range yet? Ooh, very close. Soon. Soon the great balls of Epirus will rain down upon our foes. Come on. Scooch in. Oh, where are you guys going? You're parallel parking? Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, I'm having to like adjust where they shoot a little bit. They're getting a little squirrely here. We are going to get one shot off, though. Fire! Oh, we're firing. Now we are attacking a very sturdy ship here. So we'll see how many it takes to crack it. Oop, going a little wide. And screaming in. Oh, there we go. That's a good hit. That's a good hit. Starting to plink away at its hull. Oh my god, it's hollow inside. <laughs> Taking out some of the marines as well. Now yeah, we are desperately trying to finish this combat. Before they decide to reinforce. And 94% damage. Where's the last... Where's the last shot that will take out the Admiral? There it is. Is it? Nope, not quite. Oh, there we go. <laughs> They're like, all right, lads. It's no use. Let's all just <laughs> jump ship. <laughs> we can't swim to shore. We're, <laughs> we're a seafaring nation. <laughs> but we can't swim to shore. <laughs> Don't worry about it. All right. Um, so at this point, we just begin targeting with the Lithobolos. We get the bolt thrower in, so he's slowly making his way over. See, does this eventually sink? Yes, it does. Slowly to the bottom of the sea. Along with its men. Look at you. Look at you all. Even the standard bearer. Sinking in the ocean. Oh, that's a pretty cool sight. Just slowly. Slowly. As the, the great... It's a, it's a metaphor for the great nation of Carthage. Slowly sinking away under the weight of Epirus. All right, uh, so I'm not going to show this whole siege battle because, uh, well, basically what happens is they do this stuff the whole time uh, where they kind of send in groups um, and we can take out, uh, we, t we take out a good amount with our um, Lithobolos until it runs out of ammo. As you can see, it's already knocking them down. Uh, but uh, at a certain point, they just start, they'll start disembarking, and we bring troops around to attack. Actually, the bolt thrower does very well. I kind of park it on this hill, and then I'll end up scooching up to fire into their troops, and end up routing a lot of them that way. It doesn't really do a good job at attacking the ships, though. It doesn't really do enough damage, which I guess makes sense. Um, yeah, like here, we just got a few bolt shots and, and destroyed them. So we are victorious in the end here. We do lose a little bit of troops, but um, because there's so many skirmishers and there's actually not a lot of ships left, it works out pretty well for us. Uh, we had to sacrifice our navy, but I think that was pretty important. Um, that would have been a lot of troops to deal with without uh, sinking some of them. So that worked out pretty well in our favor, I think. Uh, so yeah, it was a, it was an interesting siege battle. Um, we're pretty much out of uh, out of ammo here, I think. Um, but yes, uh, Epirus is victorious in its defense. So I will end this here, and I will see you on the campaign map. 
All right, we lost most of our fleet, but uh, well, yeah. It says it killed 50 men, but it was really about 2,000 sunk to the bottom of the sea. Uh, oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, let's just release captives for 9,000. I don't even know if that'll make a difference. Down to the bottom of the sea with you. Wow. Absolutely crushed them. Excellent. Yes, you run away. You flee, you cowards. You have nothing. Wow, that was a devastating blow to Carthage, I hope. We will certainly be pushing out against them soon with Pyrrhus' forces. Oh, what do you want? <laughs> Alright, finally the turn's done. Okay, I will catch up with you at the next turn. Our warriors thirst for your blood and hunger for your women. Perhaps they can be distracted by gold. Alright, well, we lost our Admiral. Well, that's okay. I'm not that worried about it. Um, let's see, growth zeal. Eh, let's just, uh, let's just give it a U. Let's see, we'll do the Marine Archers, it's cheaper. Alright. Attrition, that's fine. These guys join our enemies? Hmm. Tidamensi. Yes, we lost him, I know. Who's the Tidamensi? Oh, wait. Yeah, oh, okay, I'm not worried about it. You guys are gonna die. Soon enough. Uh, let's go s scope him out, though. Cool. Now let's let's uh, steal some of their food. I'm taking attrition. Okay. Garmatian. Oh, sorry. Ga Garamantine Noble Infantry. Let's see here. 35 armor. Ooh, that's much better. <laughs> they have ammo, and they're pretty tough, but uh, not a lot of armor. That's great for us. All right, we are going to slowly wear down Capsa. We're getting more and more siege equipment. Let's see, two of those. Let's just throw in two battering rams as well. And one more of those. And they'll probably move out to attack us. All right, so we have a ton of money. <laughs> it's beautiful, just beautiful. Uh, okay, so who are you guys? You guys are a fleet, that's fine. Um, honestly, I might just leave these guys like that. I think what we really should get is another Lithobolos. And we can get rid of this automatic bolt thrower. Because I was unimpressed with that. Maybe I wasn't using it right, but I don't need this many siege equipment. Uh, siege, siege units. Okay, so we got rid of that. Now, what I'm thinking Ready is... We actually... Scooch up with Pyrrhus' army. Yeah, tell you what we do. I think we move up. 
Mm, let's see, hold on. Let's see what we want to keep in his army. We're definitely going to keep these five. I want to get more spears and pikes in his army because he gets bonuses for that. So I'm thinking what we do is we get rid of, uh, we hand over, let's see, maybe the Eperot levies and the Sicilian levies. I think we'll do this. Er, no, wrong ones. We hand these guys over to him. And then what we can do is we have four units we can recruit. So let's get... Ooh, there's a lot of good options, though. The Salian Cav? Oof. 61 armor on those guys. That is pretty brutal. But I think what we do... Oh, we got good options, actually. Now that I'm seeing it. Um, okay, so obviously we want to get some more pikes. I like having pikes. Then we can get some of those protein infantry. Let's see how they compare. So thir oh wow, they have better melee attack and melee defense. Charge bonus, better charge bonus. Weapon damage 61, armor pen 14, 64 and 10. Armor is 36, speed is 3, ammunition is 2, good morale. Hmm. Or we go for some assault infantry. I mean, these guys are expensive. We definitely want two pikes. So we got three pikes. I kind of want to get those proteins. But we could also get some uh, cavalry. Let's see, citizen cav. Good melee defense. Yeah, good armor. Yeah, they're a pretty decent unit. We get some royal heavy cav. Those guys are beastly. I don't even compare... Well, Pyrrhus. They can't compare to Pyrrhus. Maybe they can. Uh, <laughs> the Reos Cavalry. Ooh, that's tempting. A Jav Cav. Hmm. Because we have the Elephants, so I'm just trying to think of strategy-wise. We have the, the three Phalanx units right in the middle, flanked by these guys. These guys are our Flex units. And then we have our Cavalry swinging around. And uh, these guys firing their slingers, uh, sling stones. Uh, yeah, I think we could go for another infantry unit. Do we go for the Thes Proteans? Or we go for some armor penetration? Because we don't have that much armor pen. Let's see, we get, yeah, way better armor pen. And morale. Ooh, but these guys. They have disciplined. I can't help it. We have to. I'll tell you what, let's get one here. Ooh, and we could get another mercenary elephant. <laughs> that seems like overkill, doesn't it? Alright, let's leave it at that, and then we can swing him out. Actually, was that all his movement? Because I think I'd like to see if he can go a little bit further. Because we're just going to scoot right over to Sega. No secrets there. Let's get the Fizz Proteans. They're so cool. Because, let's see, he gets a melee defense for Pike and Hoplites. Melee attack for Pike and Hoplites. Yeah. Maybe we should get Hoplites in his army. We have enough good infantry. I'm so indecisive here, people. We could just get some Eperot Hoplites. They're pretty good. Good armor. Yeah. 60 armor. Mm. Seems fitting for him. Okay. So we got those guys coming in. We already have some good infantry there, so let's not get greedy. Alright, now we can build a bunch of stuff. That's great. Uh, these guys are unhappy, but hopefully that'll be changing soon. Akragas could upgrade. Let's see, we could get stuff here. So food, we, food is a bit of an issue. Let's see, this would get us, no, I don't need that. Rome, my friends. Public order is good here. We could convert these things over, finally. Or... Ooh, just some direct money stimulus. Let's do that, and then let's work in Serta. Let's see here. 
I think we just go for the farm. Which is the most food. Alright, cool. That works for me. Let's see, is there anything else we can build? No, no. Nope. Oh, we could convert this over, though. Let's see, minus two food, plus two public order. Yeah, we can go for the civil settlement in Demidi. Oh, but we could... We are building a farm here, though. So maybe we go for the farming settlement. Alright, cool. That's a bunch of our money. That's good. Um, we are besieging them there. Nothing else to do here. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Ooh, are you guys friendly to us? Do you hate us? You're at war. Ooh, okay. 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 You have my attention. Non aggression? No. Okay. Well, I don't care about you then. Uh, does anybody need a trade agreement? No, we're looking good. Alright, I think we can go ahead and end the turn. Wait. No, we can't. Not yet. We must use her to mess with these guys. Never mind. I can't afford it. Deploy you. And turn. <laughs> All right. Developmental focus. Let's work towards... Let's continue with military development. Ooh, high chance of secession civil war. That's not good. What happened there? Ooh, the Thespro... Oh, it's because they lost their... Their buddy, their leader, I assume. Yeah. All right, let's secure loyalty there. Risk is 10%. Let's see if we can, uh... Let's see. Not do a favor. We can't send a gift to the Thesproteans. Improve relations with the Thesproteans? Alright, that helps out quite a bit. And uses all our money. Um, <laughs> that is unfortunate. Alright, so these guys... I don't know what kind of garrison we have in Serta here at this point. How healthy they are. So I'm a little bit worried about this. Hmm. Alright, so he's gonna still be checking things out. Let's just keep an eye on stuff. Okay, so these guys are moving up. They're not very threatening. So they may move towards Demidi. So let's keep an eye. Uh, honestly... Ooh, yeah, there you go, guys. Siga and Tingus will be very easy to take. I think what we do, we're going to have to deal with these rebels. Honestly though, what I'm thinking now, I kind of want to take out these two. Al Alalia and Corrales. Those are nice targets. And I really don't want to lose Serta. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Do we keep pushing against the Carthaginians? I think we might. The Sega's not very, uh, not a very good uh, defensible position. Tingus is for sure. We could just roll through Sega. We could just completely dismantle it. And tell you what, let's just throw a general on here. No, nope. okay, not reinstate. Let's throw a general in there. Ready, set up the watch. And Kepsa here, looking better and better to take them out. Continue siege. Let's see here. What do we want to keep in this army and what don't we? Um, these guys are kind of crappy. We don't need this many troops to be completely honest. Hmm. Javelin, Javelin, Javelin. Yeah, I think, let's see, what's the difference between these guys here? So 20 armor, 53 morale. Okay, 20 armor, okay. I think we just are gonna drop these guys. Let's drop them, get a little more money. That's good. And let's throw a uh, slinger unit in there. 
We were supposed to recruit one more unit here. We don't have the cash for it, so I think we'll just get an, a mercenary unit at some other point. Let's go ahead and end the turn. All right, got the research complete there. The ORC no longer able to trade. A great fire. Oh, jeez. That's not very good. Do we have to repair any? Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's terrible. <sighs> I guess I'll do the farm. That's so expensive. That's some bullshit. All right. <laughs> Ooh. An attack for all spear-armed units. Kind of want to move him out, to be honest. Um, let's see. So we're taking attrition here. Now, their army just moved in to this territory. They're, like, right around here. Wish I could locate it. So we're taking a little bit of attrition. Um, let's see. Let's grab... Uh, yeah, minus... Minus two enemy siege hold out of time. Or we go melee attack for spear arm units. I don't need to do that yet. Alright, let's use Pyrrhus here. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to attack Siga. Ooh, that's a, that's a pretty good uh, garrison. Okay, we'll definitely have to fight this out, but I'm going to end the episode here. So thanks for watching. If you liked and want to subscribe, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. This series is fun. I'm enjoying it. It's going well. And uh, let's, let's ride this out and see where it takes us. All right, I will see you in the next episode of the Epirus Campaign.